Hello, Otis. Where are we off today? Welcome along to another edition of Adventures with Otis. It's a cold morning, a little bit breezy, and here we are at the moment on Lawrence Hill, just heading down for a morning walk. Oh, that's a nice big house. Nestled away. I guess that might be Lawrence Hill House. <laughs> you never know. And as you can see, I've left Lucas on the lead right now. We... No, I'm not, sque <laughs> not squeezing through that cap. There we go. Right. Let me put the, yep, the small one of the leads. Come on, wee boy. Lawrence Hill starts at the bottom at Chepster Road. And this used to be the main feed for the Lawrence Hill Wood and Hatherley in its day. That's why it's called Lawrence Hill. Right, Otis, wait there, boy, wait there. We need to pull ahead. Directly opposite us, we got the Wayfarer's Cafe, and uh, this was a very good cafe in its day. Unfortunately, Peter Ploppet had passed away, um, I think it was last year, beginning of last year, and uh, yeah, it uh, the cafe's been sold, and uh, we'd like to find out who the new owners are, and are they going to keep the cafe in its entirety? A little bit of Newport heritage. Every day I know in Newport has stopped off at the Wayfarer's Cafe at some time. <laughs> so this is the beginning of Beechwood, really. The borough uh, Beechwood of Newport. Uh, oh, hang on, I'm not focusing on the dog. <laughs> oh, it's just uh, having a little sniff for our preamble before we get some greenery. Okay, so directly opposite us now is the Cross Hands. Just been up for sale a few times, it's now back on the market. Nope, it's been sold. It's now traditional Greek cuisine. Cuisine? Yes, cuisine. <laughs> get your words right, Andy. Right, let's have a little pan down Chepster Road here. This is the beachwood area of Newport. Fond memories of this area. I grew up here as a kid. And left to right there, that used to be uh, Garrods, uh, um, a sweet shop. They were private houses for a little bit. Then there was a um, Wilmot, which was an electronic shop, which sold DIY stuff as well. Good friend of the family, Ray Wilmot. Next door to that was Fleets. Uh, a shoe shop and uh, that's uh, yep that was owned by a lovely lady called Nancy and her husband Gordon uh, also very good friends of the family and uh, we knew a lot of people around this area indeed oh, I just wants to head up this way this is Carey Road and uh, we'll, we'll head up this way then I know why he likes to go up this way, because all roads lead to the park, don't they, Otis? But we usually walk down this one from uh, Lawrence Hill Avenue. So here we are coming up to Gibbs Road. Another monumental road in my life. So that heads up to Lawrence Hill. This way, heads to Beecher Park, would you not guess? You can sense it already. Come on, Otis. <laughs> right, this street, as I said, is quite monumental for one or two reasons. It's the first uh, street I did my paper round on as a kid. <laughs> but the main reason is in the CB days, 
Citizens Band Radio days of 1984, I guess. Um, I came up here to help somebody put an aerial up. Family that enjoyed the CB radio called Gandalf Christabel and their daughter Susie. And Tuesday happens to be Vicky, who's my other half. And uh, we were teenage uh, sweethearts, I guess. And uh, <laughs> they went off to Scotland. And anyway, Vicky has finally come back to Newport to live. But this time, stays with me. Brilliant stuff. Right. Young man, what's over the other side of the road? What's that? Is that the park? Isn't it strange that these pink flowers are growing out of the walls all over Newport? I don't just is making his mark on them. Um, so what are they? Oh, where'd they come from? Because they've been blown in. They certainly weren't there last year. Um, but I'll just walk over to uh, the house over the other side just to show you. It doesn't matter whether you're which way the wall is facing, you seem to pick up these flowers. Again, I've seen this in a lot of places all over Newport now. And that very same paper round I used to uh, do took me up Beechwood Road as well, which is where Nancy and Gordon lived, who owned the um, Fleet's shoe shop. That's a good boy waiting. Let's go. <laughs> right, young man, just wait there and I'll unclip your lead. Uh, take a second, Lucas. Uh, you don't need to help me, no. Right, there we go. Uh, and you're free. And this is another angle of Beecher Park that we haven't shown before. You enjoying yourself, Otis? Well, he's off on his... Grab your lead, that's a good boy. Safe tripping over it. <laughs> Today we'll go for a little wander up the back embankment, I think, and look down on the park. In a different area, angle. <laughs> oh, they've cut all the grass up here, that's brilliant. No silly um, line cuts here, are there? It's that uh, they've really cropped the whole lot. That's a good boy. No, leave it. Poor pigeon. Otis! Come on, boy. Come on. It's a good boy. I know he's 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 a very sick pigeon. The Beechwood Presbyterian Church, opposite. And we're heading onwards and upwards. Otis! Otis! Oh, he's run it back down to that pigeon. He'll soon come. 
Come on, boy. Oh, you showing off getting to the top of the hill before me. Are you loving the body walk? Lovely fresh smell of cut grass as well. Nothing better. This is almost like a bowling green, Otis. You having a little rest? I don't blame you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so when my cousins used to play here in the park, and their parents owned that lovely house just behind the, the trees. Unfortunately, Auntie Mary and Uncle Malcolm passed away. Hello, young man. And as you can see with the early birds, the gates aren't even open yet, the side gates. The, uh, bot for those that are interested in the bottom gate at Beecher Park and the top gate at Beecher Park are open, as well as a couple of the smaller um, style type side gates on the Beecher Road side. I just love the trees and the foliage at Beecher Park. Come on, Otis. Let's go run, run. <whistles> Otis. Otis. It's a good boy. we take the top path today what they've done is they've etched out paths in the grass which is amazing looks really good really cool Oh, poop bag time. Let's give you a nice view. Looking over at the trees for a moment. Not the dog. <laughs> Are they getting very good at using these poop bags one handed now? Unfortunately, there is a rubbish bin just down the way. <laughs> is that all you did, that little piece? I believe it was. 
Okay, good boy. Back down the hill again. Oh, there's life at the top of the park. Oh, it's the, uh, the fitness gym. Well, I was heading at the top of the park to show you the views. But perhaps we'll just uh, take a little amble up through the park itself now. Come on, Otis. Otis is going to take a shortcut through the dingle. Probably because there is mud. <gasps> oh, no. Otis is under bolt. has changed his mind. It's a shame I didn't make a few videos under lockdown because I ventured into the parks quite often with Sebastian, our previous dog. And he was a real Heinz mix. Um, he had Collie in him as well. Portuguese water dog. Um... Oh dear, somebody's left their purse behind. I'm sure uh, they'll be back for it. Um, and two others breeds that escape my mind. Rottweiler. And I can't think of the fourth one just yet. Anyway, back to the star of the show and Otis. How are you doing, Otis? You having a good sniff? Oh. Otis, I've not seen any squirrels yet. Come on. Or oh, sticks. We haven't found a stick yet either. Are you going to find a stick for us? Nope, that's a tree root. That's a tree root. That's a big branch. That's a little bit small, but, um, no, okay. That'll do for now. Nope, oh, that didn't last very long. See if you can find a more substantial one. There should be plenty to choose from. Yes, I don't think I've walked up this side with the camera. So we'll take a little look at the, uh, the tennis courts and the bowling green and Otis running about and we're just coming up to 20 minutes and he has finally found a nice stick disappeared into the darkness <laughs> he's watching the magpies <laughs> oh, Otis, is that a good stick? They're noisy, aren't they? Grab your stick. Noisy crow chasing the magpies off. Oh, we got pigeons and magpies and crows. Oh, 
and oh, this is going to take us past the, the lower tennis court, I think. Are we going to zigzag around, are you, Otis? Okay. Well, if you're enjoying the video, please click the like button. It's great to know how many people actually uh, like it. So far, we're getting around about half a dozen likes. <laughs> And uh, mind you, at the moment we've only got 24 subscribers, I think, or 23 subscribers. You having a little rest with that stick? Are you? Yes. If you'd like to keep up with the, uh, the mini movies that we launch, then... Uh, Click on the subscribe button and uh, you'll, and if you click on the notification bell at the same time, you'll get an email telling you when we release another video. Have you given up on that stick? Where's the stick? Come on. Oh, that's a good boy. Stay this side, Otis. And there's another couple of dogs actually walking around with their owners. Otis has stopped to watch these people running back and forth at the top there. Part of their good morning wake up. I prefer to do a five mile walk instead. Where's my best buddy, Otis? This way. Right, this is one of the tennis courts. Okay, we'll walk this way. Good boy. It's a good view of the house from here, actually. You wait there then, Otis. Hold me a moment. And this is Beechwood House. I think uh, I'll have to get up really early one morning and walk the four miles across Newport to the um, Tredega House. I'll do a small walk video walk around there it's an amazing place beautiful parks beautiful buildings and a beautiful dog because he comes everywhere Otis where's your stick good boy right wait here this is the magical tree look dogs disappear and then they reappear amazing it's really weird the way the uh, the base root it splays off into three vertical stems, and all the kids love to come along and sit in there and get their photographs taken. Vicky included. <laughs> A fifty-plus-year-old kid. Great stuff. And this is Otis, enjoying his morning walk and his morning stick. Right, let's walk on then, Otis, and have a look at the next protocol, which is the second um, tennis court. I believe that they are renovating this one. And this is where Otis did his puppy training. We, oh, yeah, he's still a pup. He's only <laughs> only just uh, in his tenth month. I can't believe ten months have flown by, Otis. And we've had you since eight weeks. Absolutely amazing. Remember the day we went to look at your uh, your mum and your dad. Mum being um, a border collie type and. The further being a cocker spaniel. What a combination. <laughs> no wonder he's so energetic. 
But he's fairly clever with it. Otis, you gonna get your stick? Good boy. All right, wait there, wait, wait. It's a good boy. So you go to have a look at the tennis court where you did your puppy puppy training from about 12 weeks old. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Come on. So this is the tennis court that they're renovating at the moment. And we're going to wumble this way. Otis! You have to check out the tennis court. We're just going to wumble up to the, um, the bowling green. Uh, this is the Bowling Green Clubhouse at Beecher Park. <coughs> and the beautifully rolled Bowling Green. Otis, come on boy, <laughs> where did you go, where did you go adventuring? Right then your man, I think we'll sign off for today, so if you, uh, as I said it before, if you like the video please click the like button, if you'd like to subscribe please click the subscribe button. It's great for us to know how many people are actually uh, uh, watching the videos or, uh, and enjoying them. And if you'd like to be notified, please click on the notification bell. So, this is Otis and I saying cheerio! No, not yet. We can't play balls today. I don't play balls any day. No, Otis! Come out of there, you dafty. Okay, catch you next time. Cheerio.